In this exercise, we are going to create a model of the loft, which represents the boat hull. We are going to create a four of actually three planes, and those planes will have each of the planes will contain the cross section called the boat, called the boat rib. And then we are going to stretch the loft over the ribs. The last section will only be a point. So in your hand line, we have given the coordinates for all of the defined points. And we have for each section, we have really uh, four points which define them. There is a deck line, there is a keel line, and then there are two skeg lines, points. First, we will create some reference geometries. We are going to create a plane offset it from the front for the six inch. Then we are going to create a new plane offset it from the plane that we created for the eight inch. And now we are going to create a plane three. Again, reference geometry plane offset it from the last we created plane <coughs> for the one inch. Close the planes. And we will make also front plane visible. So this will be the reference planes on which we are going to create the sketches which will define our boat mode. For the sketch one, we will start a sketch on the front plane. I will choose a front plane and I will start a sketch. And as you can see, the deck actually starts at the zero zero. So I'm going to make a straight line out as a horizontal line and I'm going to dimension that line 2.5. Then I'm going to make a, another vertical line down from the coordinate origin. And I will dimension that vertical line with a two inches. And the end of that vertical line defines my keel point. Now, I'm going to make a spline. I will click on a spline. I will click on the end of the deck line. And I'm going to make a two arbitrary points and close the spline with a keel line point. Now I'm going to create dimensions for those points. I will put like the first one is from the vertical 1.25 and from the origin 1.25. And then the point number two, as per drawing, is uh, 1.5 and 0.5. 1.5 and 0.5. As you can see, my, my half of the boat curve is defined and the sketch is fully defined. So here is my sketch number one on a front plane. Now I'm going to choose the plane one, the plane which is offset for a six inch from the front plane. And I'm going to place a sketch on a plane number one. And that will be my sketch two. And the sketch two, I'm going to start by making a horizontal line from the origin to the left side. And that horizontal line is going to be a three inch long. 
and I'm going to make a vertical line from the origin downwards and that vertical line is going to be dimensioned for 2.375 inches two and three quarters beautiful now i'm going again to make a spline with the two arbitrary points on it and close it spline will start from a deck line going to the key line and now place a dimension Vertical dimension for the first point is going to be a 1.375. Vertical dimension for the second point is going to be a 1.750. Horizontal dimension for the first skeg point will be a 2. And for the second one, will be a 0.750 what will define this profile and as you can see it is again fully defined profile i will close this sketch now you can see how the boat form is being created now i'm going to choose the plane number two which is eight inch distant from the plane one i'm going to place a sketch and i'm going to do the same with a sketch number three going to make the horizontal line and that horizontal line is going to be 0.675 long 0.675 i'm going to make the vertical line And the vertical line going to be a point six, and I'm again going to connect those two with the spline with the two points, the arbitrary two points, and I'm going to put the dimensions for the points. For the first one, vertical offset from the deck. It's going to be a point two for the second one vertical offset from the deck point three seventy five and the horizontal offsets are going to be a point five and point two respectively point five and point two And let's see what is does not ref and the vertical line. Oh, we have it. Oh, okay, we need to make this line, this point, these two points to be coincidental. The end point. To be merged. The moment we make those points coincidental, we have created the sketch now in order to close this sketch to a point we need to create a point in a sketch on a plane tree and that point will be in a coordinate origin so i will start a sketch on the plane tree I'm going to look straight on it and i'm going to end this sketch by creating a point at the coordinate origin Now we have all of the points that we need to create the loft. We are going we do not have defined here the guide curves. This will be the first loft that we will do it will be a simple loft without the guide curves. So as we pick the profile we will pick it by virtual guide curve like for example we will always pick for the points which are deck point. <coughs> This will work. If I now insert loft, loft that was base feature, I'm going to choose the profile. So 
profile one profile two profile three and profile four and let's see what we do have here if we go to the start and end constraints they should be put set to none because we end the loft into a point you see if we set those constraints to none the loft will nicely end it on the point we click ok here is our loft of the half of the boat now in order to close this boat what we need to do we need to mirror the body so we will go mirror bodies to mirror that's the bodies to mirror and mirror face or plane will be our right plane and merge solids and here we have created the nice looking boat hull in a 10 minutes as an example of the loft now what we can do we can shell this boat hull and we can build as per your, you are in a design class, so design now the deck of the boat as per your interest. And you can make it by making again some profiles that you will be lofting or by many other ways, by building something on the top. So let me show you how to shell it. I will press shell and like, let's say that one eighth of the inch is the thickness of the boat. Huh? If I type in 0.125, let's see if it will shell it greater than maximum radius however it will shell it it will just have here the sharp transition what is okay so this concludes this demonstration of the loft and once we created the loft we can use it like any other object so we can use it like any other features we can shell it we can drill holes on it we can mirror it array it it became just like any other feature Okay, so this concludes the demonstration.